Hey guys, hope everyone's having a good day today. Um, today is actually a really cool day. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite day trading strategy of all time. And I've gone through a lot of strategies trying to find what one works best, what one um, works in all types of markets, and this one is by far my favorite strategy. Um, what it is, it's called the opening range breakout. So basically, the logistics of it are, you're going to take the first five-minute candle. So go on, uh, go on any stock. It works on uh, any stock. You just need some good volume for it to work. And you need a big move coming. So volume and momentum are uh, good, good things for this strategy. They work hand-in-hand hand very well together. So today we're just going to be doing a quick demo on Microsoft. So you can see I have a little indicator on, but if you don't have an indicator, it works the same way. You look at the first five-minute candle of the day, 6.30 for me, um, whatever time the market opens where you guys are, you're going to take a horizontal line at the top and the horizontal line at the bottom, right? Right there, top and bottom. I have the indicator there, obviously, but it'll look the same, suits the same purpose. Um, after that, all you have to do is wait. The strategy does everything for you. That's the nice thing about this. You don't have to, you don't have to do anything really. The strategy does it all for you. You just look and you wait to see if it breaks above or below. We can see right here at this moment, it breaks below that green line right there. That's the low of the candle. So at that moment, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a put. Right? We're gonna short the stock. Basically, what we're saying is it's going to be red for not the rest of the day, but it's going to have a nice, strong move to the downside, hopefully. So you can see, obviously, for Microsoft, that worked out pretty well for us, but it's not always going to work out that well. So let's say Microsoft would have broken out, false breakout. The stop loss on this is very simple. All it's going to be is the opposite of whatever end of the candle you didn't take. So let's say we took this break right here. Uh, we're breaking down, right? We're taking the break down. All the stop loss is going to be is going to be the top of the candle. And vice versa. Let's see. We got one right here where it breaks above. See? The break above wasn't on the second candle, wasn't on the third candle, wasn't on the fourth candle this time. We had to wait to the fifth candle to find the break. But once it did, it broke above. The stop loss for this would be right here at the bottom of the first candle. Simple as that really nothing nothing else to it so i'm just going to run through a quick um just a few quick stocks just showing you guys how it kind of works and how i would play these and how i did play some of these today so microsoft obviously we have some nice volume high average volume so we're looking for a big move today right we see a nice little gap up and we see some nice volume in the morning so what we're going to look is for the breakout breakdown breakdown boom ride the trend you can take you can stop whenever you would like really what i use what uh what i like to do is just use some ema clouds as my stop loss as my trailing stop obviously a stop loss can be all the way up here but we want to take profits somewhere right so uh somewhere along the way you're gonna have to find what works best for you what i find works best for me is ema clouds and really for me, it's a different EMA cloud depending on the stock, right? If we see uh, a real big move, then obviously we're going to need probably a tighter EMA cloud than others. This one, you just kind of follow the trend. Once you see it starting to break back right here, you can take profits right there, take profits right there, wherever you would like. Um, but um, really just a great strategy and it's very simple very easy if you're a beginner you can do this the only thing that would stand in your way if you're a beginner is the pattern day trade um, which means you need twenty-five thousand in your account in order to day trade every single uh, day as much as you would like so let's look at another example etsy right first candle of the day big uh, big outside bar candle right so it encloses the last the last like six bars, right? So obviously big volume in the morning. Uh, we're going to look for a nice move here. We break down, right? 
and then obviously it's a hammer candle so it looks like it might be going against us but it doesn't matter strategy says breaks down by the puts right so it breaks down we buy the puts here the stop loss is right here it does come back into this zone right never touches the stop there's no reason why we should be out of this trade at all write it all the way down take profits along the way wherever you would like right here on this pullback take profits there take profits there take profits there now obviously today it was a special scenario right the spy was down basically the whole day and we didn't see it really let up at all so we're going to see moves like this where the moves last the whole day usually in this strategy i like to be out by around nine to ten um in that area because after that we start to see chop towards the end of the day and we don't really want to get caught up in that and we definitely don't want to be holding these options overnight because who knows what can happen overnight. This is a day trading only strategy. Uh, next up, NVIDIA uh, right here. First candle, a little gap up. And boom, same thing as Etsy. Break down, come back into the zone, never touch the stop loss. And just ride it all the way down. Take profits right here. Take profits down here. In between 9 and 10, that's probably when I'll be scaling out. And you can see the chop kind of. AMD, same thing. Right here, boom, break down, right all the way to the bottom. And then one green example for you guys today, um, Boeing. I didn't play this. This was not on the watch, but I wanted to find uh, a stock that was green today for you guys so you could see what it looks like. Um, we can see inside bar right here, and we're kind of just consolidating in the beginning. Then, boom, right here, break up right there, and we just take nice little profits along the way. Uh, like I said, whatever suits you best. Um, I like to scale between 9 and 10, obviously, and use EMA clouds, both a combination of both. Now, the cool thing about this strategy is it works very nicely on high volume stocks, like I said earlier. So what you can do is you can uh, look at these stocks that TradingView has um, right here, the hot list, right? And just look at the gainers, look at the gap ups, the gap downs. And usually, those are the stocks that are going to have big moves throughout the day, right? Sometimes we're going to get stocks like this where the candles aren't, aren't fully developed, uh, not really any good plays, right? But that's what the stop loss is for. Sometimes like this, you can see, boom, nice gap up in the morning, break right there. Uh, any one of these candles, and that is a lot of money right there. You don't even need to be in calls if this stock does even does options. But 40% to the peak. I'm um, just trading the stock. That's yeah, You guys can't tell me that. That's not amazing right there. Same thing right here. Break up. Um, it doesn't matter that it's a gap up. Same thing. Still broke. And we just take it anywhere along the way here. And let's say we get in right here. Uh, we scale out around here. 20%. Not even options. That's insane. Now let's, let's just say, uh, let's try and find one that will go against us here, right? Um, what you do have to watch out for these stocks like these is just kind of like choppy and not fully developed candles. Uh, we're, we don't really want to be trading those for this strategy, right? Right here, um, BBB, or yeah, Bed Bath & Beyond. Right here, a nice leg, just a, a pure green leg right there. Uh, that's, that's really what you're going to get most of the time with this strategy. Same thing here. Um, let's see, let's see, let's go back into watch this. I want to find you guys a time where it can go against you. So Tesla. Okay. So Tesla today, obviously kind of faked us out in the morning with this strategy. It's not a hundred percent. Nothing is a hundred percent investing, but that's what the stop loss is for, right? Boom, right here breaks up. We think, okay, today might be a green day for Tesla. Uh, nice volume. We see two green candles, not looking too bad. And then right after that, three red candles. We hit our stop loss. Boom, not looking too great. You can see in the morning, you may have even bought the down trigger right here. Um, either way, kind of gets chopped out in the morning. There's not going to be a move that you're going to be able to catch because you're going to get stopped out. That's what the stop loss is for. You don't want to be buying the bullish move and get trapped, holding your options all the way down here. That's exactly what you want to avoid. What, what we're trying to do here is just find nice big moves. This right here, I guarantee you guys, this move will pay 
for the whole entire week of trading. If you get this on options, this will pay for the entire week of trading. All it takes is one big move in this. That's all we need is one big move. So sometimes if we get stopped out right away, that's not a horrible thing. We could have avoided a much worse case scenario right here. If we get stopped out, see, we don't want to get caught in all that. Uh, that's, that's not what this strategy is for. So I just want to make that clear to you guys. The stop losses are there for a reason. And sometimes you could say, okay, well, we missed out on this big move. Yeah, we did, but it could have been a lot worse. We could have been on the wrong end of it. So that's what this strategy is for. Like I said, guys, this is my favorite strategy of all time in the market. I use it every single day. Amazing for day trading. Uh, the key things really are respect the stop losses. You don't want to get caught on the wrong side of these things. Um, just make sure that the stocks that you use it on have volume. That's very key. Make sure there's volume, right? We don't want to invest in stocks where there's just going to be chop. Then you're just going to get stopped out. It's going to hit the, it's going to trigger it. Then it's going to stop loss and it's going to trigger it. We don't want things like that. We just want a nice fluid, uh, fluid leg down or up. And that's all we're looking for with this strategy. I promise you guys, if you test it out for yourself, back test yourself, see if it works for you. I'm not saying throw it into your setup right away. You don't have to use it tomorrow. Back test it, see if it works in your trading style. And if it does, then implement it. It's really good for uh, entering into stocks. And I just wanted to show you guys it today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, also, one last thing I do want to mention is if you are more of a, you can't be at your computer 100% of the time because for this, obviously, we're on the five-minute candle, right? You're going to need to be able to, to be there to monitor it. You don't want to take a quick move against you. You can trade this on the 15-minute candle as well. I have back-tested this. The 15-minute and the five-minute are what work best for this. Five-minute is preferable. Uh, that's, that's my most used, what I use mostly for this. 15 minute, however, does work better for SPY, I have to say. 15 minute and the SPY do work pretty nicely together, but five minute for uh, volume stocks works perfectly fine. Um, make sure you guys uh, test this out. Don't throw it into your strategy right away. And hope you guys enjoy using this strategy and hopefully it'll make you a bunch of money just like it's made me. Um, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like and make sure to leave some uh, suggests and requests uh, in the in the comments of what you want to see out of this channel in the future. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.